Welcome Aquarius. I've already shuffled this deck for you. In four, show us the current situation, please. In three, show me the current situation, please. What is the current situation for Aquarius, please? Show me. Okay. <clears throat> So there's a group of people here who are very conformist. Um, these people aren't very open-minded. So these are the kind of people that sort of side with the majority. Whatever is the, you know, thing that most people would think ought to be done, that's, that's where they, that's, that's where they, you know, invest their energy. They like to be part of the majority. They want to be included in a group. It could be very, um, they could be afraid to think for themselves. They need to have people around them all the time. And they also need to be on the side of the majority. They don't like, to, these people don't like to, they don't like unusual people. Unusual people make them feel uncomfortable. Anything outside the norm, and they reject it. The problem with people like this, if you ever wonder how it is that Hitler managed to uh, commit such a massive genocide and murder so many innocent Jewish people. How, where, where did, how is it that so many people agreed to follow his orders? How? Conformity. People who want to, to be um, want to conform to social norms. And it's usually because of fear. They don't think for themselves. They don't question the dominant ideology. They may enjoy a be a be being in a position of power. The <clears throat> King who ordered that Jesus of Nazareth be executed, it is said that he really didn't see any fault in anything that Jesus had done after Jesus' trial. But the problem with that king was that he was a coward and a weak-minded person. And, you know, he could be, he was, in fact, swayed by a crowd of close-minded cowards. Then Pilate, when he had called together the chief priests, these are religious rulers, the rulers and the people, said to them, You have brought this man to me as one who misleads the people, and indeed, having examined him in your presence, I have found no fault in this man. No, neither did Herod, and nothing deserving of death has been done by him. Now, that means that he was innocent and he should not have been executed. But they shouted, Crucify him! Crucify him! Then he said to them, Why? What evil has he done? I have found no reason for death in him. But they were insistent, demanding with loud voices that he be crucified. And the voices of these men and of the chief priests prevailed. Show me more. There's three coming out. Whoa. So Aquarius, 
somebody around you is unable to sleep. They're in mental agony, especially when they're alone. Because they have been spending time thinking about the truth. They know the truth. So they're not feeling very good about going along with this majority. So this person is unable to sleep and they're now becoming very wary, very wary. And it could be because they're, they're, they can't look at themselves. They know the truth. And so, you know, they could be thinking about something that has been, you know, they could be thinking about repeated attacks on you and they're, and they're becoming extremely nervous and, uh, you know, they're extremely worried. Let's see what they're worried about. The person in the Nine of Wands, what are they scared, nervous, and worried about? Whoa. Okay. One of these people, I think, is you. And the other person is the person that they're worried about. Show me more. I feel like it's the Queen of Cups that they're worried about. Show me more, please. Yeah, uh, the Queen of Cups has caused a massive tower. Somebody has had a very massive realization. What are they worried about, please? Ah, sorry. Yeah. All right. There could be a, a, an entire family breaking down here um, or, or, or just a connection that you have with somebody else. Somebody tried to destroy something for you. You've had to walk away from it and start anew. You know, what, what someone is worried about here is that you're walking away from destruction that you don't, it's, it's like it's impossible to do any more damage to you. If there's no, there's nothing left to do. There's nothing left to destroy. I also feel like what is, what is unexpected here, that the tower, the massive, um, realization, the massive epiphany, the massive um, the abrupt change here. Is that you're walking away and I believe that what's happening here is what they're upset about is that things are finally over between you and them. Um, maybe they expected that they could keep torturing you or <laughs> keep ganging up on you. They don't want something to end. It's like, what, what am I going to do now? That's what they're thinking. Show me more, please. Yeah, he says King of Cups. It's almost like, it's almost like your person feels like they've lost control. They don't have any control anymore. It wasn't a victory. This is not a victory. Show me more, please. They may also be real, be realizing that they were being controlled. They were. Look at this. Hierophant. And the King of Cups. They were they uh, they they felt like they were on the side of the majority, but 
something is hitting them here. What's underneath here? Wow, there's the high priestess. Your intuition is probably speaking to them. They should have listened to their intuition. It's funny because this is sort of external, you know, the doctrine of external religion. This is this is the majority rules. Well, what 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 is the what does the law say in this country? We'll just do what the law says. Forget about whether it's right or wrong. This is devoid of intuition, devoid of empathy, of spirit. This is just follow the majority. This is all spirit, intuition, you know, everything. The high priestess is incredibly knowledgeable. She sits between these two pillars that are very powerful. They, this black pillar here, is, it can pull someone to, and so, so can the white pillar. But the high priestess, because she is so immersed in spirit, she is unmoved. Sorry, um, she rules the moon. She, the uh, the hierophant is always trying to to talk to the high priestess to get knowledge from her. She doesn't speak. The only person that the high priestess may occasionally speak with is the Queen of Cups. Now, I believe that's because the Queen of Cups makes all her decisions, all of them, with unconditional love. She, in other words, she operates from a position of unconditional love. So she, would, she wouldn't agree to, you know, to do something that she felt was wrong, even if it was the law. And she's certain about that because she's, she's all intuition. This is the Akashic Records. You know. This is knowledge of everything that was, is, and will be. She has it. She's got the Torah in her lap there. This person is starting. It, it, their conscience is bothering them. There's this, this person is in a tug of war between what everybody else does and what should be done spiritually. What should be done? Show me a little bit more, please. Uh, try that again. Show me more, please. It's three coming out. Now, um, I believe that this is a very toxic energy. Uh, when I said that the High Priestess speaks only to the Queen of Cups, Queen of Cups um, upright, I don't do reversals, but between the Tower and the Knight of Wands and everything else that we've seen, this is, a, this is a Queen of Cups in the reverse. This is a very manipulative person. So the Queen of Cups manipulated your, your King of Cups. Queen of Cups um, was taking Knight of Wands action toward you. It's it's um, aggressive, envious, jealous. It's it, it's action that is not thought out. It's somebody who wants to, you know, stake more territory. They could be uh, acting because they're angry, jealous, or just greedy. It's bad energy. Okay, show us some more, please. What happens then? What happens then? Yeah. So, somebody is actually um, spending a lot of time soul searching. Somebody is realizing a truth they're you know trying to be or they're allowing themselves to be guided um, 
by wisdom, by spirit. They could be spending a lot of time looking back and looking at, at truths. They're trying to make a decision. They're trying to make a wise decision here. Show me more. Hopefully that's the King of Cups. Show me more, please. There's, there's the, you know, the person who allows themselves to just go along with the majority. Wow, there's the Ten of Swords. And there's the Three of Cups. So uh, your person is realizing that the majority was wrong. They were ganging up on somebody. They were stabbing you in the back, betraying, trying to destroy something, you know, trying to sap you of all your soul, spirit, energy, everything. Show me more, please. Three coming out. This is very um, hopeful. So, justice is going to prevail. I do believe that that King of Cups is realizing that something is not fair. This is true fairness, true justice. This is spiritual justice, where the sword of empathy is raised. The scales are filled with solar energy. What was unfair here, and they're realizing this, is that they were being controlled by, this, by the, these opinions of these people. You were being held back somehow. Show me more, please. Show me more. Yeah. So over here, I mean, uh, there may have been a group of people who, and you know, proposed something or brought a proposal to the King of Cups to your person, but it, um, it was something that was very deceptive. Um, they're, they're, they may have been deceptive toward you. There was a lot of deception here. Show me more, please. Yeah. So you may have raised your sword. About, you know, this Queen of Cups trying to control, trying to rule. You may have asked, you may have raised your sword, you know, did, did this person, did you speak to this Queen of Cups? You know, show me more, please. What was Aquarius asking? What was the Queen of Swords raising or asking? Yeah, well, <laughs> whatever you said, it's making your person realize that they have been deceived. You know, there's a, their conscience is bothering them. They're worried that something was covered up. Somebody um, presented something and it, and it was a skewed version of it. This person is now realizing that they themselves were deceived. They shouldn't have trusted, they trusted the wrong person, the wrong group, wrong opinion. Um, this person, uh, you know, is fearful. They may be fearful of a truth or fearful of trusting their own intuition. Show me more, please. Alrighty. So somebody... Somebody was proposing to them, or it, somebody was presenting information to your person, um, and they were trying to come across as being upfront with their, you know, face showing. Everything seemed on the outside, you know, seemed like it was straightforward, but in fact, there was something concealed. There's deception. There's things being hidden. Things being concealed here. Somebody may be very afraid of telling you or bringing you a message about something that was concealed, something that was hidden. There's hidden enemies all, all around you here. 
Somebody was very selfish. Yeah. Somebody was very selfish. It could be that Queen of Cups. <clears throat> so over here, there's somebody listening to the opinion of somebody. It's interesting here because this is the kind of person, somebody here who, I don't know if you've ever met people like this, but, um, you know, somebody here, in terms of what they desire, instead of, you know, knowing what they desire, this person will actually ask, what should I get? What should I order? What should I wear? What, you know, what should I do next? What do you want to do next? What do you want to do next? Is, is what this person should be doing. But if, what they want is the approval of all these experts. You know, they allow their desires to be dictated by what other people think. It's, 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 it, they could have their sun and moon opposed. I know that if that, if you've got an opposition like that. So they allowed, so all the opinions about you, uh, all their, you know, they may have really loved you and, and you know, knew that they desired you, but, it, but that, they, they then had to go ahead and, and ask these other people about you, even though you were their nine of cups. They needed somebody else's support and opinion. Show me more, please. And in doing that, They've realized that, that that was a disaster because in doing that, what's shocking to them, you know, it, is that what's actually happened is it's destroyed something for them. So show me a little bit more, please. Somebody may also be very shocked that you're done, that you're done. They, they may not be able to very wary. This person is a worry wart. Now look at this. So they're standing there frozen at this choice point and they're worried. They're worried, you know, that something might be over with. They, instead of making their own decisions, you know, show me more please. So finally, they're waking up and smelling the coffee. They're realizing the lights are all on now. What are they realizing? What is this person realizing? They're realizing the truth about this mob, this majority, this motley crew of power abusing, you know, conformist bullies. So what is this realization? What is this sun? Show me more. Oh, there we go. Well, this is, this person is actually stepping up to the plate. They over here in the justice card, they are now telling this mob what they think is correct. They are now, they are now tell, show me what this page of pentacles message is. Sorry. They may be exposing. Yeah. Something about you. Show me more. Tower, Emperor, yeah. That some, somebody was just trying to be in control. Somebody, there's an emperor here. There's a power, there's a, a you know, a power hungry person who wanted to destroy your stability, who did, didn't like the fact that you were, you know, standing on your own, that you were, could take care of yourself. Some, somebody, that emperor, it could be family, you see? Yeah, it could be your very own family. And someone, somebody is, is very depressed, very disappointed. They did, 
didn't, they didn't, they missed the spiritual cup because they went with those regular, yeah. And this is what they truly wanted. They may have wanted to propose to you. They feel very romantic toward you. Show me more. Yeah, and now their heart is broken. Their heart is broken. They broke their own heart. They had there was there was a there was a tug of war there between the swords and the heart. So the swords often it can be logic, facts. Um, you know, so they, they, they allow themselves, yeah. So they're having, somebody's having a massive epiphany. They're learning the hard way. Yeah, look at this, Seven of Swords. So what they may be realizing is that whoever they were listening to, the opinions that they were listening to, these people had some hidden agenda. The Hierophant is often, uh, I mean, it's, it's supposed to represent the Pope, the Catholic Church, um, but it is the doctrine of external religion. This person sitting between these two pillars, he doesn't need to hear from anyone. These two, you know, monks down there, they, they will do anything to get into those, to get past those pillars. They worship this person. But this person says, goes. What I say goes. Now, that creates a precarious situation because if you happen to have somebody in a position of power, who engages in things that are unethical. What you need is a population that is able to think for themselves and not be easily led by someone because they are the majority or they rule. Oh, sorry. I'm going to read you just a portion from Ephesians. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wishes of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. That's why, you know, if everybody had a strong connection um, to spirit, we wouldn't have, it wouldn't be possible for genocide to occur because people would be guided by wisdom, guided by the truth, guided by unconditional love, and they would have the courage to stand against this no matter what you know what how they would be judged by others but it takes a person of courage and you know and a person who has a, a good sense of what is right and wrong spiritually anyway Aquarius I hope you enjoyed it let me know if it resonates